Hello, my name is Young Wa Lee, and I lead Module 5, Breeding Informatics in the Excellence in Breeding platform. The Enterprise Breeding System is a data management system tailored for the demands of a modern breeding program. Modern breeding is a data-driven enterprise focused as never before on pushing genetic gain faster with increased variety turnover in defined market segments. There are many new technologies supporting breeder decisions to achieve these ambitious targets. Generating and using that data requires a dedicated system to coordinate and integrate the new tools with statistical analyses. These analyses support breeders as they make critical selections in time for the next planting season. So what features will the enterprise breeding system have? The enterprise breeding system is built as software as a service and will support a diverse array of breeding programs under one CG with centralized development and deployment. It will support core breeding activities such as trial design, germplasm and inventory management, field operations, phenotyping, and sample tracking. It will connect a genotype database to those core breeding activities. And finally, it will have an analytical framework capable of advanced biometrics, including genomic estimated breeding values made routinely available to CG breeding programs to support breeder decisions. The EVS uh, will serve as an outstanding platform to navigate and manage our breeding programs. As a breeder, I definitely want EVS to be a single or one-stop shop or to carry out all my breeding activities, all the way from seed preparation to data analysis uh, and making breeding decisions. I strongly believe that EVS will help to make our breeding effort more productive, more efficient, and easier than before. Uh, I'm really very excited about the enterprise breeding system because it's really going to enhance um, a lot of um, routine activities in the maize um, unit in IIT, especially with our field-based management. I'm looking forward to it being enhanced through mechanization and then uh, management of um, breeding trials and nurseries, especially with barcoding for inventory, that I'm really looking forward to that also to be enhanced. And then um, the phenotyping, you know, analytical service submission and other field operations in real time. And um, I'm also particularly looking forward to having them um, specialized printers for printing our seed labels directly on the seed envelopes. The enterprise breeding system is composed of multiple components to cover different parts of the breeding workflow. Many of the core breeding functionalities in version two of the enterprise breeding system can be accessed through the B4R or breeding for results component of the EBS. When a user logs in, by default, they see the data from their breeding program and a customized dashboard. Users can also use filters to see a subset of data, such as data just from the current year and or season, or they can leave these unselected to see all of their data, trials and nurseries at once. In the EBS version two, breeders can create trials as well as nurseries to manage their crosses, advancements, selections and seed increases. All of these options are available under experiment creation when a user goes to create an experiment. Once an experiment has been created, the next steps in the breeding workflow can be carried out and tracked under Experiment Manager. For example, users can export their trial designs to generate field layouts using the KD Explorer site design software using this export button, and then can re-import the plot coordinates after they have created their field map. In addition, once the plots have been mapped and planted, users can export files to facilitate electronic data capture. For example, from this view of a particular occurrence. 
In this case, they can download the information about their entries as well as the traits that they want to capture using an electronic data capture app such as the KSU field book. Once the breeding team members have captured the data, they can come back to B4R and upload the results, do a basic QC, and then store them in the system for use in downstream analyses. At the end of the season, the Harvest Manager software is designed to support harvest processes and the creation of new germplasm and seed inventory items in the system based on different harvest methods. Throughout the season, if breeders need to look for more information on germplasm, experiments, packages of seed, people in breeding programs, traits, or tools, they can access that from a general search bar found at the top of each page. Hi, my name is Gustavo Teixeira. I'm the Breeding Operations and Phenotyping Module Lead at Excellence in Breeding Platform. Our goal in Excellence in Breeding is to support public breeding programs to achieve higher rate of genetic gain. Digital tools will certainly contribute to achieve this goal. Since 2019, we have been working close with CGIR centers to define priorities and recommended solutions. The result of this exercise can be found in the IB toolbox at excellenceinreading.org. We understand that providing recommendations won't be enough once there's too many gaps in the system. With that in mind, and with the support of Crop20 Hunger Funds, the IB will be distributing package printers, seed counters, label printers, and handhelds to 24 breeding programs for maize, cassava, yam, rice, and other crops. These devices will be prioritized for integration with EBS and training and support will focus on using these devices. There's going to be increased accuracy of phenotyping, you know, like that's going to help it. And then we'll be able to also monitor the irritability and input few sites, you know, as needed. That's going to, that means data quality is going to be enhanced. And then uh, sharing of information across the breeding program community is also going to be made very easy. And then a common database, you know, across the institute will facilitate use of historical data for uh, decision makings and selections of um, um, germplasms that are of optimum uh, performance, uh, you know. And then the unified um, analysis pipeline is really going to be very fantastic. Also. Hi, my name is Liz Jones and I'm the Lead Adoption Specialist for EIB Module 5. We are very excited to start rolling out EBS to a number of crops at the beginning of next year. We'll be starting with Simit maize and wheat and Iri rice and soon after that following up with IATA maize, Ikata wheat and Africa rice so that those crops will have unified processes and a system to operate with across the CGIR. We'll start rolling out to other crops uh, soon after that. We will still continue to support BMS and BreedBase. Those systems are very important to us, uh, but we will be starting to roll the BMS functionality into EBS so that we can enable one system for all non-clonal crops. Please look out for our trainings and videos on our EBS website, which will be coming soon at excellenceinbreeding.org. Thank you.